When I was about nine years old, I visited a homeless shelter. Walking down the concrete ramp and through the shadowy entrance, I felt like I was entering hell. The little inhabitants and their lifeless eyes further reinforced this theory. I was there delivering collected goods. When I entered the shelter, I had always thought it was nice to help in a sort of abstract way. But by the time I left, my nine-year-old self had decided definitely that I no longer wanted a career as a marine biologist. Instead, I was going to grow up to help people. My siblings and I started kids' care when I was very little. My brother and sister and I ran the drive with wagons on our street the first year, collecting goods and plastic bags to give to children living in homeless shelters. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. Other kids asked if we were going to do the drive again, and so we did, and it grew. After nine years and nine drives, we have garnered over 800 volunteers and raised over $80,000 worth in goods. It was our little action that grew and changed into a community effort. I believe that kids care is just a small scale example of how all of us must work together to reshape our future for the better. We all know that today, around the world, many people are poor and sick, hungry and homeless. <coughs> Excuse me. Many of us knew this today when we woke up and yet today we did nothing to help them. Most of us possess the resources necessary to fuel change. Most of us could easily make the time to make a difference, but we don't. Why? The answer is simple. We are busy, tired, and we just don't know where to begin. We've all become so involved in our own little lives that we can ignore the crucial issues we should and must be facing. This attitude is killing our future. In order to save it, each and every one of us must act. If three young children and their little idea to deliver some goods to one homeless shelter can grow into hundreds of volunteers and thousands of dollars in goods, imagine what we could achieve if each of you here in this room today did something tomorrow to help. And what if our seemingly insignificant little actions grew to include our families, our friends, and our communities? Imagine how many people might just gain the type of personal experience like my trip to a children's shelter that would ignite in them a burning desire for change. I know that I'm a little naive, but when I was nine years old, I walked down a concrete ramp and into a children's shelter. The memory of a child's defeated eyes is enough to motivate me to act. I hope all of you will walk down the ramp with me and together we will refuse to accept the problems that face us. We will act. And someday, we might just find ourselves living in the better tomorrow that we have built. Thank you.